So I'm going to take you through a relaxation exercise. Okay. And everybody out there who's watching, if you're watching, say it. you're going to feel you awkward too, along with me. No, get in relax. <laughs> so don't watch us. Close, everybody out there, close your eyes. All right. Okay, sit back in a chair. Relax your body. Uncross your legs. Surrender. Uncross your hands. Just relax. Take a deep breath in. And out. Ha. Ah, now I can only hear myself, so let me hear you. Ha. Ah. Relax your shoulders. Surrender in that chair. I want you to put yourself in a shower. I want you to feel the sun shining in the window. I want you to feel the heat of that sun grounding you to the earth and pushing you down and grounding you and relaxing your whole body. I want you to feel the pellets of the water push down on your forehead, to your eyebrows, your eyeballs, your cheeks, your jaw, opening up your jaw wide with breath, super, super wide. Ha, stretch your mouth really open. Open, open, open wide. Let me hear the breath. Ha, I don't hear anything but myself, so let's do it again. Ha, <laughs> you can laugh, it's okay. And now relax your mouth. Letting your head fall forward. Rolling it to one side, roll your head to one side, and roll it to the other, and roll it all the way around. Other way. And center, rolling your shoulders, really circle those shoulders, circle it front, and circle back. Lifting your arms above your head, reach your torso up, lift your torsos up out of the chair, lift up. Take a deep breath up, fill everything up, hold it, and I want you to blow it out and drop between your legs with breath. Ha. Surrender, hang. Relaxing your feet, your ankles, your shins, your thighs, your belly, your back. I want you to hear your words. Taking a deep breath in, bringing it to you and holding that breath, taking it in. And out. Ha. Let me hear your breath. And one more deep positive energy breath in, taking it in. And out. Ah. Ha. So I want you to pick an event in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have something in mind? What kind of event? Doesn't matter. Just with one other person. It's a, it should be an unresolved event. Like it could be a breakup, it could be a death, it could be sure. a birth, it could be uh, an award, it could be anything. Okay? okay? So now, where can you put your eyes for your focal point? Okay, you got, can you put it on the back wall? The back wall, okay. Yeah, okay. So, you're gonna say the words I say, to say, but you're gonna be thinking full, you're gonna be seeing the full picture underneath, okay? We're only gonna do it for a couple minutes. So I want you to start with, I feel my heart. You want me to say that? Yes, I do. I feel my heart. And really try to feel it. It brings you back to yourself. I feel my stomach. I feel my stomach. I feel my heart. I feel my heart. What do you see? I see my ex-wife screaming at me. You don't need to tell me a story. I just see <laughs> her. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of trauma in that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Do that one. I see her. Yeah, I see her. And you're already vulnerable and you're already just transformed into a deeper place. You just brought it all to your heart. That was beautiful. I feel my heart. I feel my heart. I feel my stomach. I feel my stomach. Do you see her eyes? I do. I see her eyes. 
Tell me the color. Green. I see her green eyes. I see her green eyes. Are they small? Are they large? They're large. I see her sparkly green eyes. What are they? Angry green eyes. I see her angry, teared eyes. And I feel how it makes me feel. And I feel how it makes me feel. What does it make me feel right now? Can I feel something? It makes me feel overwhelmed and sad. I feel the sadness. I feel how sad I feel. I feel how sad I feel. I feel my stomach. I feel my stomach. Who else is in the room? Can you hear her words? Uh, no. It's I'm trying to hear. Well, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to hear her words. I'm trying to hear her words. Say it again. I'm trying to hear her words. Do you have any memory of what those words may be, even if it's what you think it might be? I feel how upset I feel, or sad I feel. I feel how upset I feel. Can you see the room you're in? I can see the room I'm in. What does it look like? It's the living room with the door open. What is there? Is there a couch? Do you see the couch? Can you see, I see the any couch. colors? Can you see? What color is the couch? Brown leather. I see the brown leather couch. I see the brown leather couch. I feel my stomach. I feel my stomach. I feel my heart. I feel my heart. What is it that you want to say to her that you never got to say to her? I'm sorry, baby. I see her face. I see her face. I want you to look at her and say, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. Say it one more time. What do you want? You want forgiveness? You want it back? I want forgiveness. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. I didn't even take you through half the exercise, but since we're doing such a short time on camera, that was absolutely beautiful. But you see how, through your senses, this is, I didn't even explain what the exercise is. I mm. love you. You're so vulnerable and open. It's incredible. <laughs> So through what you see, touch, taste, smell, and hear, you pick an event in your life, two years or further back, and you go through all those senses. So you start with your heart and your stomach, so it brings you to yourself, and then what you see, but in detail. So, you know, it's not just I see a chair or a couch. You go back to that brown leather couch means something to you. It was their carpet that means something to you, the color of the carpet. And then if you zoom in, like in life, it starts here, and then as you get more and more specific, it goes here. So that's what you do in the infected memory. Feel, doesn't it feel good? I mean, you feel exposed and vulnerable, but it feels, it's so wonderful. Yeah, he's like, that feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be good. People are going to love you even more Especially after Christiani. this. Especially Christiani. Christiani will love me even We more won't let her this. see this. We'll ban My what? girlfriend. <laughs> oh, what's wrong yeah, I think your girl. I think a girlfriend that you're dating now would see that you're an open person. You didn't say you want to be back with your ex. You want to be open and vulnerable. Women like this kind of stuff. Yes, they do. Thank you. Jeremy's going to go smart and throw it. He did, Brazilian women are a little different. I want to take you through one. I want to take you through one. But anyway, but if you want to talk about memorization. I want to do one of, that's going to make me yippee, happy. Let me think, two years ago. Okay, you want to do one? I won Mr. Universe. <laughs> Does it have to be real? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, let's do it. Well, I two think years from now. Let's, let's do it next time. I'm going to prepare. Okay, I want you to. Okay, let's do it. Two years from now, two years in the past. But I want you to you start thinking about stuff. We don't have to do it now. I let's do it next time. King. Oh, oh my God. Lord. See, but the thing is. Can I invent my own? We'll call it Teisner <laughs> instead of Meisner. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, actually, I'm going to use this. I'm going to come up with Teisner, which is. You go two years in the future. And you, <laughs> no, but really, you feel. But that's Meisner's imagination. Oh man, 
damn it. <laughs> but Tizner we use for business because you go two years ahead and you think what you have and and, and then you that start really and you get excited about it before because that's how you overcome procrastination. And that, months. by the way, that yeah, eighteen months. That's what I, Peter Drucker says. Because people to be successful, you have to have faith. So to have faith, you have Correct. to see the you have to experience the future before it happens because you won't do it if it hasn't happened ahead of time. And passion and perseverance. Exactly. If you if you haven't like let's say it's gonna be hard to start a business, you gotta quit your job. You have to go through all these hurdles. If you don't see the reward before, you'll never quit the job. Yeah, you'll be what, like Jamie. What does that Foster. really come from? Confidence, self love yeah. of thyself, belief in the self. Belief, so much. faith. Belief faith. is everything. Most religions are b b based on faith, and some parts of religion are probably not the best, but the faith part of religion, all religions, the is the best part. <laughs> well, not just the hook, it's the crux. It's the, without it, it's, you know, faith is defined uh, as believing something or seeing something before you've experienced it. And uh, I think you have to do that. You gotta be logical, but. But the thing is, if you put that into your acting too, that, right. that brings in all the heart. So all that faith brings in the vulnerability and all that belief in yourself brings in all the passion. So it's, it's so similar. You really can yeah. live your life as an actor with the actor tools as a business person. Yes, no, I, this, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna Snapchat. What should I call you on camera? Do you have an actress? Uh, name or acting coach name. What Sherry Shaw. <laughs> Sherry Shaw Acting Studio. Thank you. I okay. Know. Jeremy, oh. you want to peek in? Well, I'll, 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 I'll swing over. Pretend to be crying. Acting <laughs> class. Oh, wait. <laughs> Are we good? No, I'm not good. I'm good. Acting class here with Sherry Shaw. Thanks. Me and Jeremy have been doing it. Jeremy was going through a Meisner effective. No, no not a Meisner. Not Meisner, not Meisner. He effective memory. Check it out. He was crying. Not me. <laughs> <laughs>